Holden Beach Chapel. It's my great pleasure to welcome you as we've come together to worship. Um, if you are a first-time visitor, if this is the first time you've been to the Holden Beach Chapel, would you simply raise your hand so that we can give you um, a yellow sticker so that we can identify our first-time visitors? And Holden Beach people, when you see a yellow sticker, make sure that they feel welcome. Wherever they're from, when they go back to the place that they normally live, we want them to say that this was indeed the friendliest church they've been to. It was like coming home. And that's up to you to do that. Thank you very much. Happy Father's Day to all of you fathers. <clears throat> uh, you know, fathers it, it, don't get the credit that they do on Mother's Day. You know, if you go to the, over to the florist today, you can find plenty of flowers. Not so on Mother's Day. There wasn't one in the three-county area. But um, we're glad that you are here. We're glad that you are here on this special day. And for all of you fathers who have done such a yeoman's job in raising families and keeping families, we want to say our heartiest congratulations. We're glad <clears throat> to honor you on this day. The time and talent sheets, I've mentioned this for several weeks. So let me tell you, this is the last week to do that. Someone else is going to get your job if you don't fill out that time and talent sheet this week. So we don't want that to happen, so be sure to uh, take a few minutes, pick up one of those forms and fill it out so that you can be aligned with what you are gifted in and what you enjoy doing as we work together for the betterment of, um, of the chapel and for the building of God's kingdom. <clears throat> Most of you have, have been here before, I noticed by the first time visitors, but uh, let me remind you of a second helping. Um, at the Beach Mart parking lot on Saturday mornings between 7 and uh, noon. If you have purchased food uh, while you were here at the beach, you don't have anything to do with it, you don't want to throw it away, stop by the Beach Mart. There's someone there that will take that and they will distribute it in our county and surrounding areas to those who are in need. And it will be a blessing for them and it will be a blessing for you too. So um, just take the things that you have left over for that. And if you are planning to attend that seminar on uh, making the most of your retirement. That starts this Tuesday, but you need to sign up through Brunswick Community College so uh, to make sure that you have done that. And then on Wednesday, if you're feeling like you've got just a little bit too much blood and you would like to donate um, a little bit, our blood drive will be here at the chapel on Wednesday. So if you will go to www.redcross.org, you can make an appointment so that you can be a part of that and giving the gift of life. We are, are most appreciative, and that is indeed one of the most noble things that you can do. And now, let's go to the Lord in prayer, please. We would ask you today, Lord, that you would remind us always that you are with us. When circumstances come that we can't understand, we, we pray that we would be able to surrender them, surrender them to you so that they may indeed become stepping stones to a higher purpose. Remind us, Lord, that crushing blows that come about when they are left in your hands. They do heal and they can become teaching tools for not only this life, but our life in the life to come for eternity. Illnesses may come, Lord, and they may, they may weaken us. They may even destroy our bodies, but we thank you, Lord, that they can never touch our souls. Help us to trust you more fully and to remain faithful in all circumstances as we continue our journeys of faith and of life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. How good it is to be with you this morning. My name is Worth Green, and I am a Moravian. I always say that because uh, very few people know what a Moravian is. I will tell you that we have uh, partnerships with the Episcopal Church in America and with the uh, ELCA.
Yeah, we announced that just in case you were not sure whether you were going to stand or sit during this next hymn. Um, some of you are probably getting tired <laughs> for a long time. We're going to sing together hymn number 401, verses uh, 601. 601, Oh How I Love Jesus, verses 1 and 3. Father, we bring these gifts of tithes and offerings as expressions of our devotion to you. These gifts express the sheer joy we have in sharing with you in the work of the world's redemption. Receive and multiply them for the ongoing work of your kingdom. Amen.
Thank you. you. May be seated. Before I introduce our speaker that you already met Worth, let me mention that um, I was told today that uh, Andrea and Ray Sheed have just become naturalized American citizens. Uh, after uh, a 25-year process, they will be sworn in. Congratulations. Um, you have already met Worth Green, and you have probably known him from years past. He has been, uh, you probably didn't recognize him without a little cup of coffee, uh, perhaps, because for years he helped us with our uh, Moravian Love Feast in December, right around the Christmas time. And he told me a couple of years ago, he said, I wonder what the beach is like in the summer. And so uh, <laughs> I said, I'll see if I can work this out. So we were glad to have him here on this, and we'll still have our, our Moravian Love Feast. He has a friend in the Winston-Salem area that's going to help us this year with that, and we're looking forward to uh, that very special service. But Worth uh, has been a, a friend of the chapel for several years. Uh, he's, um, you know, some people you just have a natural affinity to, and when he comes in and he comes back to my office, and uh, it's like we just picked up uh, the last conversation that we had. As you are aware, that's how friends are. They just pick up, and it's always wonderful to have him. You can read in the bulletin uh, about all of his uh, scholastic pinnacles that he has achieved that are pretty impressive. His wife, Elaine, and his son is here. They were glad to welcome them also. But Worth, um, the service is yours, and we are glad that you're here at the Holy Beach Chapel on this day. Thank you, Dr. Rushing. Uh, I've never called you Dr. Rushing before. I thought I ought to do that. Uh, Reggie told me just before we came in that when the choir left, it was not a protest that you had an Arabian back. Uh, but rather, it was recognition of the fact that they sat through uh, the entire first service and the entire uh, sermon. So uh, I, I was glad that they didn't have to listen to this twice. And let me apologize in advance for those of you who have listened to it now. But uh, I, it is a joy to be here at the show. And I want you to know 
Scripture 